know, you see your little boy start playing in third grade and, you know, moving up and getting better. And, you know, it's like this thing you picture them playing at, at, at high school. Larissa Jekyll's son worked for years leading up to his senior season on Sunset High School's football team. This is his year and his chance to lead the team as a quarterback. And it's sad that it gets taken away. It's something that you can just absolutely never get back. Just a day before their first practice was scheduled, parents, like the Jekylls, found out the school district was pressing pause on all sports. I know how much time and effort my son and his teammates put into their sport, and I know how much they miss it. In a statement, Beaverton School District said due to an increase in COVID-19 cases in the area and their need to protect the health of their student athletes and coaches, it was suspending all athletic practices indefinitely. The 11th hour news crushed Lori White and her son. Not one of us knew this was coming. An incoming sophomore on Sunset's basketball team. My son actually, long before all of this, um, was diagnosed with depression and sports is definitely, you know, the drug of choice to help maintain his highs and lows. The family filled out risk waivers so he could hit the court next week. It's just heartbreaking that this is being kind of yo-yoed around. The implications of not having it for these teens is so much broader than just, oh, the kids can't go play basketball, what's the big deal? And I really wish more people were seeing and acknowledging what this trickle-down effect could do. Like Beaverton Sports, Washington County's reopening plans are paused. As cases rise, hospitalizations trend upward, and contact tracing proves challenging. Both families we spoke with said they felt comfortable with the school safety measures, and they wish the district didn't make a decision for them. This weight is too heavy for these kids to bear. Just give us a choice. If you look at the numbers and the risk-reward ratio, it's safer right now for them to be playing sports. And they have so many safety protocols in place. I can see where that decision needs to be made by the families if they have that particular situation going on where they have um, loved ones that they are in contact with that are in that um, age group or in a compromised situation. The Oregon School Activities Association is expected to make an announcement later this week. They need to play for their kids' mental health and their happiness. They need to be able to get back out on the field and play their sport and do what they love during this time.